Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with a how-to on choosing a rod and reel for live or dead baits off the shore for large species like kingfish, sharks and pelagics. Hi, today we're going to talk about choosing a game reel for LBG or land-based game fishing off the rocks or off the shore. Predominantly the species that people target off the shore in New Zealand are yellowtail kingfish and sometimes sharks. If you're really, really lucky you might hook a tuna uh, or possibly a marlin, although it's almost impossible. There are some overseas destinations where you're more likely to hook those kinds of species. There are no real specialist uh, game reels for LBG. There are some favourites amongst a lot of uh, rock fishermen. And the graphite framed uh, lever drag reels are some of the more popular ones. Game reels generally are, are excellent for fishing off the shore. The lever drags as opposed to the star drags. Star drag reels you have caught many fish over the years but they are older technology. Lever drags have the advantage of once you've set the drag you can push the lever up to strike and you know exactly how much uh, drag you've got there and you can push it forward to uh, full as well if you need to rather than pulling, pushing the star drag up hoping you're going to get the right drag. Plenty of fish have been caught on star drags over the years. Uh, reels like the Penn Senator, Diver Sea Line, good reels taking plenty of kingfish. If that's all that's in your budget then you can pick up one second hand and start game fishing off the rocks for kingfish, sharks, those sorts of species. Um, as I said, lever game drag reels are um, really excellent for fishing off the rocks. This is a graphite model, this is a Shimano TLD25, very popular model, a TLD50, popular model, TLD30. Uh, those are the ones from Shimano. Generally game reels will cross two different line classes, maybe 30 to 50 pound line or 50 to 80 pound line. The 30 to 50 size reels are excellent for targeting kingfish off the rocks and pretty much all you need. If you're going for uh, larger fish like sharks or hoping for a marlin, then generally you need the um, aluminium larger size reels, 50, 50 wides, 80, uh, if you can carry them on the rocks, then those are the size reels you want to be targeting. So when it comes down to choosing one, you want to figure out what line weight am I going to fish, what species am I after, and of course your budget. But as a good general starting point, choosing a reel that will hold at least 300 yards of 50 pound mono is ideal and uh, will cover most situations. This one, cover, the TLD25, uh, will hold about 350 yards 50 pound mono. Uh, it's pretty good. And you want a reel that will have at least 8 kilos of uh, drag at strike. So when you push the lever drag up a strike, you'll have 8 kilos of drag. It'll take 8 kilos of force to pull line off the reel. And then about 10 kilos at full, perhaps a bit more. There are other brands out there that also do really good reels for um, uh, LBG off the rocks. Pen, Akuma, um, also Alateknos, Avet, Daiwa obviously. Uh, so there's quite a few different models out there, Jewel as well. Generally graphite frame models are actually the a bit better. The advantage is that you don't, they, um, they're not so heavy to carry in. If you're hiking long distances, you've got plenty of burley as well. Uh, graphite weighs less than aluminium, uh, but the, the, the downside is that it won't take as much strain from a very sustained long fight from a very big fish like a big shark. Uh, it's more likely to uh, cause stress on the reel, which uh, isn't so good. Braid or mono? Should you use braid or should you use mono off the rocks? Mono is pretty good, monofilament, nylon line, uh, good standard when you're targeting things, fish like kingfish. If you are going for a fish like a marlin, then it's better to have braid because you can fit a lot more line on your reel and you'll definitely need it. Uh, you can't back down when you're on the rocks to try and chase down a marlin. Uh, you're pretty much stationary and it's what you got is what you got. Um, mono on the other hand is more abrasion resistant and if you cut off on the rocks, it's also not as expensive to replace as well. So mono generally is, is, is extremely good. I'd recommend generally 50 pound mono is a great place to start. 30 pounds okay, but you'll lose more uh, kingfish and um, you don't want them swimming away hooked in the gut or trailing a lot of line because they'll generally die and uh, it's not very good for the environment, not good for your kingfish, uh, not good for our fishery. 80 pound, if you are chasing uh, really big kingfish or really rough terrain, 80 pounds are uh, okay as well. So when it comes time to look after your reels, try and avoid salt water splashing over your reel. When salt water gets into your reel, it corrodes the insides fairly easily. Uh, you want to service your reel once a year at least. Uh, often it seems to be the bearings that uh, start to corrode. You don't want to find something's wrong with your, your reel when you've got a big fish on the end putting under stress. That's when something will go wrong and if you haven't looked after it and you bust it, you could probably lose uh, a fish of the lifetime. When you come to wash it down at the end of the day, push the lever drag up, 
gently wash it down. Don't use high pressure to wash the water off. Um, it can force dirt and salt further into the reel. So wash it down, then take the drag off and store it in a cool, dry place. Don't store it with the drag on because the washers can compress and, uh, and affect their performance. There you have it, there's some suggestions on what to look for when choosing a reel for an LBG rod for fishing off the rocks. Uh, depends on the species you're gonna chase, um, the line class you're gonna use, and your budget, of course.